What's up, world? I'm Mikey Nice. And I'm the cameraman. What up? Yup, yup, and all that good stuff. <laughs> you like the Puerto Rican Grinch? That's, that's it, my baby. I'm in it. <laughs> I'm in the spirit. Oh, uh, oh, uh, really? uh, uh. No, we're what not happened? gonna do it. We're not gonna go there. I had my Christmas party yesterday, but that's another story. We can talk about that. Later. Okay. Are you alright, buddy? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. I'm feeling in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. Well, I'm in the groove. Holly for Christmas time, buddy. Yes, Holly. This is a, a merry, happy Christmas Hana Kwanzaa. <laughs> I think I got everybody. I think I got everybody. <laughs> Oh, wow. Nice. And I got a little... This came in the last box, man. This maple... Uh, yeah, check out our GHC juices. unboxings, our Daily High Club unboxings. They send us all cool stuff. That's right. So, I was looking through my Christmas decorations. When I was putting up my decorations, I found a letter that I had written to Santa Claus when I was a young boy. No way. And I'm going to read this to you. But it had me thinking about, like... Um, what age were you when you knew for sure, for 100% sure, there was no Santa Claus? I'd have to say I was at least, I was about 10 years old. That old? 10? That old, dude. That old. That old. They tried to make it What old. was it that made you realize? Seeing fucking, oh, sorry. Merry Christmas, Christmas whatever. everyone. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Um, seeing my uncle as Santa Claus, like, it was clearly him, you know what I'm saying? The he had the Puerto Rican like, Santa Claus hat yeah, like you? Yeah, man, yeah. He had that it same was, hat? It was pimp style, like that pimp daddy. It was pimps of clothes? Pimps of clothes, yeah. <laughs> I realized when I was, I don't know, I'll tell you what, it was the year that E.T., the video game, was released for Atari, which I think was like 1982, because... There was some of my friends at school that were telling me that Santa wasn't real. But my mother was like, yo, you, you better be good because Santa Claus, blah, blah, blah. And the year before that, unbeknownst to me, my father had come into a little money somehow. And he got us a TV, an Atari uh, system, 2600 system, video game, controller, a, a laser disc player. No, a video disc player, the one that was on acetate. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so I remember the following year, they came out with the E.T. game, and uh, I opened up the presents, and I had an E.T. game. It was just like my friend's E.T. game, and I'm like, how the elves made two of the games? Oh, and shit. And I can go buy it at the store. The elves make it that I could buy it at the store. That's right. And then I had the controller with the button up top. Remember that? Because that was like the wave of the future, because you only had one button. At that point, E.T. was freaking more believable than Santa Claus, right? <laughs> uh, well, no, at that point, when I was a kid, it was the same thing. But then I'm saying to myself, like, how the fuck does the elves... This is bullshit. I'm like, this is bullshit. And then, like, all of a sudden, my dad comes into all types of new stuff, and I get all these presents. And then last year, the year before that, it was Come wasn't... on, Pops. Come I don't on. Know. I thought it was kind of weird, man. Hmm. I think I got Pitfall. I think it was, like, 82, 81. So I was, like, eight. I kind of never got nine. shit that I... Like, I hated getting stuff that I didn't... Like, I would get shit that they that I needed, but I didn't want that. I don't want fucking shit that I need. Who the hell wants shit that they need? You know what I'm saying? Well, when I was a kid, my mother used to tell me to write a list to Santa and put the three things that I wanted. And depending on how good I was, would it be how many of those three things I got? So I, I got my, my, my list here from when I was a young boy. If you want, I can read it to you. Yes, that's so cute, man. That's All unbelievable. Right. <laughs> and you saved it, huh? Well, I found it. My mother saved it. Oh. I found this with my old stuff. So it says, Dear Santa, everything's misspelled. I will put up a picture right there so you could read along. It says, Dear Santa, Merry Christmas. Hope you feel good. I was a good boy this year. I would like to get a racetrack. Tracked. Mommy said we have a lot of space. Because that was my mother's thing. I would be like, yo, can I get a racetrack? She's like, yeah, we got plenty of space for a racetrack. <laughs> sure, why not? We got a ton of space for a racetrack. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a racetrack. Being sarcastic. Huh? Mommy was being sarcastic. But I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then, uh, okay, because mommy says we have a lot of space. Can I get a ray gun? Mommy says she dares you. Because I wanted that one that you could change it and it made like 35 different people. Oh, oh, shit. oh my God. <laughs> so fucking annoyed. So my mother was like, yeah, I dare you. I dare, dare Santa to I dare Santa to bring that to you. And I don't think I got it that year. I don't think I was that good enough to get that. And then I said, uh, and can I get an army man? Because mommy says they have benefits. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. 
Thank you, Santa. I love you, Michael. That is so sweet and cute. You we'll put up a picture out there. So that, that, that is that's so what sweet. I, I thought that was pretty cool. I like. Thank God you didn't like getting like those. I loved getting toys that had like a hundred pieces to it, oh, but my mom it. couldn't Legos stand it. Oh my God, she hated it because they freaking would wind up everywhere. My, my favorite was when the G.I. Joes or the little, the little I used to call them action figures. My father would call them dolls. I think my son's playing with dolls. They're the action figures. They're Come army on, men. Dad. They're army men. They got benefits. And he, he like the little guns that would fit in their little hands. And each one, like I remember, remember uh, uh, Luke Skywalker had the sword that came out of the hand. The lightsaber? The lightsaber, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. came out of his hand. And Han Solo had his own little gun, the oh, Han yeah, Solo yeah, yeah. gun. And then if you lost it, you were, you were SOL. Because, yes, exactly. And it was such a little gun, bro. It was such a little gun. It used to bug me out, man. Mm. Did you have the Kung Fu grip? Uh, the big G.I. Joe? Uh, no. I, don't, I didn't really have that one. My favorite toy was the Bionic Man. And you could the look, Bionic Man. Dude, you could and look you through could his eye. look through his freaking eye. That was so awesome, man. That oh, was my the God. crap. And then... Um, Kiss dolls, obviously. Kiss, of course. Kiss Who didn't dolls. have freaking kiss dolls? And then, uh, I guess the number one toy, though, was for me, uh, I used to watch the Dukes of Hazzard all the time, because mm -hmm. I didn't know that it was politically incorrect. For Daisy Duke? So. Not really. For the car, really. For the jumping. The General Lee. <laughs> and I had a General Lee that you would take the, the Confederate flag off the top, and you could slide the two dolls in, action figures in. And then you could and then race it, and it was big, you know? And it would be the same size as, like, the G.I. Joe's, so the G.I. Joe's could kind of get in there. And then I remember one time my mother went all up and down uh, Fordham Road in the Bronx to get me Castle Grayskull. Castle Grayskull. Oh, I had, oh, I had, and I had to be, I was with her to get when she got it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really surprised that you I had the whole set to Planet of the Apes. It was kind of like that Castle Grayskull thing. It's like, because I'm older. Right. Obviously so, much. yeah. So it was like a set that you opened it up, right? You know what I'm saying? And then it had all like the different levels of, of the fucking monkey villages and shit like that. But it was pretty fucking cool. I think they, I... Okay. They don't make toys kind of like... The no, way. no, 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 no. We used to have realistic guns and all of that. Yeah, man. Remember SWAT? I had a SWAT truck. The SWAT truck with the, yeah. with the men that went inside. I had that. Uh, I think I had the Starsky and Hutch car. Mmm. The big one, the striped tomato they used to call yes. it. Yes. Yes. That was a dope car. Christmas was the best time. And I remember my father would tell me things like, what did one snowman say to the other snowman? He'd say, what? you smell carrots? I smell carrots. You smell carrots? Mwah, dad joke. Mwah, dad joke. <laughs> he would hit me with all of them. So, so you never got your racetrack? Yeah, we got the little ones. We got a couple of big ones oh. one time. Remember the one that went up the wall? Oh, yes. I was like, wow, look, you don't take much space. It goes up the wall. And we got yes, that one. Yes, yes. Which just meant that cars would go flying right. all over. Because you don't know you got to slow down on the turn when you're a kid. You just you just grab that trigger and squeeze it as hard as you can. You don't know. Slow you down still want your turns. race track? No. Uh, mm. I was going to get you one for Christmas. That's all right. I'm over. Get yourself a train. A train set. Trades are boring. Race tracks are a lot more fun. You think so? Yeah. Mm. Could be. Um, what did one, uh, no, what did the, what's the difference between a snowman and a snowwoman? Another dad joke. What? Snowballs. Snowballs? <laughs> dad joke. <laughs> oh, you got him today, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he used to tell me a lot of them like that. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, here's one. Thinking about it, we were talking about Star Wars before, right? So, Darth Vader says to Luke, Luke, do you want to know what your presents are? And Luke says, how could you know? You're not Santa Claus. He said, no, but I felt your presence. <laughs> See, Star Wars joke. I felt your presence. Nerd jokes. Nerd nah, jokes. I, I'm a Star Wars fan. Everybody Which I'm looking forward to Christmas. You, don't, you, you probably don't even know, but Christmas, the new Star Wars. Around Christmas. Whatever. I don't know. I thought there was that uh, Mandradorian, Mandragorian, Mandalorian. With the little baby fucking Yoda. The little baby Yoda. I don't know nothing about The meme is all over. But I've seen the me. meme. I've seen the meme. It's what's up. I like the meme. Memes, meme is cool. See the meme. So would you like me to tell you a fast Christmas carol, Christmas story, not a carol, a story? Yeah, tell me. Talk to me, man. All right. So I'm not, not many people know this, but this is an origin Christmas story. So many, many, many years ago, in the morning of December 24th, when Santa Claus was getting ready to go out and load the sleigh and everything to get ready to make the deliveries, he's on his way out the door, and Mrs. Claus tells him, 
Nick, don't forget, we're having lunch with my mother today. She's flying in. Great. That's all he needs today of all days, right? Exactly. So then he goes outside. He walks over to the factory where all the elves are. And he realizes that his four best elves called in sick today. Oh, no. And now the trainees are trying to make the presents, and they can't really get them right. So the quality is down, and the speed is down. So now he's got to kind of wait for them to get everything going. <clears throat> so he figures he'll go outside, and he'll check the harnesses to make sure everything's all right for the reindeer. Finds the harnesses is broken. One of the reindeer is pregnant. What the Three of them oh jump the God. fence. So what now he's got to go find all of the, the reindeer and all of this stuff right on New Year's Eve. Hmm. Huh. Christmas Eve, forgive me. So then he starts loading whatever presents are ready. He starts loading them into the sleigh. And there's so many presents that it cracks one of the floorboards in the sleigh. Wow. So now he's got to fix the floorboard or all the toys are going to start falling out as he's flying all over the place. It's just a night from hell. He's a horrible, thing. horrible day. So then he goes inside. He says, screw this, man. I need some cider and a little rum. To get myself straight, calm down so I can deal with the rest of the day. Right. So then he goes and he realizes that the four elves pulled in sick because they drank all the rum and the cider. Oh, shit. So they're all messed up. So he tries to calm down. He goes to make himself a cup of tea. He spills the tea on the floor. He can't take it. So then, of course, he goes over to the cupboard to grab the broom to sweep up the broken glass from the teacup. And he realizes that the mice ate all the straw from the broom. Oh, no. So, man, Santa Claus is losing. And at that moment, there's a knock at the door. Santa Claus goes over to the door, he opens it, and there's the most beautiful angel with Santa Claus's Christmas tree. And the angel goes, Merry Christmas, Santa! It's such a beautiful day. I'm so happy to bring you your beautiful Christmas tree on this beautiful day. Where would you like me to put it? And that's the story of how the angel got on top of the tree. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not many people know that story. Not many people know that story. <laughs> oh my God. So that's why you put the angel on top of the tree. Well, I should have seen that coming. I didn't see it. <laughs> you see? Oh my God. It's a good Christmas funny. story. That was that's very, how my very... grandfather used to put me asleep by telling me story. <laughs> very nice. It's true. Very nice. It happens. So what was your favorite gift you ever got? My favorite gift I ever got for Christmas. You see, it's hard because my birthday is not too long before Christmas. So my father he was, likes to give gifts, so he would put two gifts together. And in the beginning of December around that, he would give me a combination gift. And one time he gave me a Gibson Les Paul guitar, which was really nice. So that has to be, it's still kicking around, Greg has it. And now that I'm older, I mean, when I was younger, there was stuff that I, I wanted that, you know, I was kind of, I was an only child, so. But like as I grew up, yeah, I, you got spoiled, right? Yeah, I feel like I a pers a gifts that are more personal. Like it could be the smallest trinket with just, you know, somebody writing something on it or something like that. And it just kind of makes me feel a little warm inside. Oh, uh, like a macaroni uh, right picture frame. Right. right. Oh, a macaroni yeah. necklace. Yeah. What's the What's the best gift you ever got as an adult? As an adult, sure. it has been recently actually. Shout out to my cousin Amber. She last year, you know, was. I, was, I got to see her after so many years and she gave me what actually wanted a little trinket a cute little thing and she wrote something on it to my favorite cousin how come Amber never gave me anything what how come she never gave me anything I don't know she didn't know you I guess I met her that one time yeah yeah we met that one time but thank you that was one of my favorite gifts of all time that's nice Amber you're you're a very sweet person yes but as a kid oh man every Christmas was awesome as a kid I mean I remember when I was a little little kid they used to be, we used to watch Godzilla movies. You remember Godzilla right. movies. So the Godzilla, you might remember the Godzilla that was about this high off the ground and you would push it. Yes. And his feet would go like that. Yeah. And then you could press a button and his hand would go flying. And oh, pull yes. And in the back and the fire would shoot out of his mouth. Right, right, right. And then you could, you didn't really have any. That wasn't a real fun. Godzilla move though. Shoot. What? That wasn't a real Godzilla move I'll have you know. What? He couldn't shoot his hand out. No, but he would go. But he would throw shots. Nah. He would throw shots, bro. He had a nice right cross. <laughs> oh, I think. Man. I think. I like Christmas. Yeah, Christmas is a good time of year. It's good to give presents. It's good to give gifts. It's good to check in on people that you don't see all year round. You know. That's right. It's nice to be like that. <clears throat> so I remember one year, my neighbor came over, my neighbor's dad. 
she came over, and well, he came over, knocking on the door real hard. I was real mad. My mother came outside. I said, what? What's the problem? Is everything all right? And he says, your son, his name Michael's written in the snow in front of my house. Yellow snow. Yellow. I knew it was going to be yellow, of course. So my mother says, I'm so, she's so embarrassed. She says, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll make Damn, you were able to get Michael out? That's, yeah. I figured you had done just Mike or so something. So she goes, you know, uh, I'll have him come over and clean it up. He'll get the shovel, he'll get some, you know, water and salt, and he'll clean it up. And then if you want to, you know, when the snow goes away in the summertime, I'll make him clean your patio or whatever. He goes, that's not the problem. She says, well, what's the matter? She said, it's in my daughter's handwriting. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh man, that is too funny. That's a weird year. We got the 2020 coming up. So I can't believe so fast, man. So fast. We might miss a week of doing shows. Yeah. Or so. Need a little break. You but know. you know, there's old shows. They don't have too many views. I'm sure a lot of you can go watch them. Yeah, that's share them. Share them during the holidays. You're waiting for your, your Christmas uh, holiday vacation so you could sit there and watch them all one right after the other. Bang, yes, bang, 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 bang. binge watch you us. You can see all the different uh, production that we do, all the little things that we try to do. Try and I would, you know, still kind of learn it. Try to get content yeah, yeah. going, but it, it's hard. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. We don't really know exactly what the 54 of you want to watch. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, but it is what it is, because it's all about headroom, you know? It's all about the space between your ears, you know? That's it, party people. <laughs> Holiday party people. I'll get so ready. So how was your Christmas party yesterday? What was it? Oh, so my Christmas party went swimmingly. It was at the, uh, can I say where it was? It doesn't matter. The Villa Barone. And, 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 uh, was the food good? Was it dirty? It was good. It was, no, it was very clean, very nice, and uh, we had a great time, danced. <laughs> Great music, you know. I had some drinks and uh, some good food. You good know? pictures too. Definitely. Yeah, I have some nice pictures. I'll uh, maybe put one. I'll, I'll maybe put my Instagram so they can uh, see a couple. Of oh, I can. Yeah, I'll, I'll show one here. Here. <coughs> yeah, but if you're in it, you didn't take it. That's true. You didn't that take any true. selfies at the holiday party, did you, buddy? Uh, I might have. I might. I can. I might be able to take one out. Let's see what happens. We shall see. So that's about uh, that's about the Christmas show, everyone. That's about the holiday special. Feliz um, Navidad. Feliz Navidad, it is. And whoever won you and Felicidad. Happy Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. And ha and that. And what would you say again? Chris. Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. <laughs> Chris Mahana. Merry Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. Merry Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. I think that gets everybody covered. I think, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. So, um, what else am I forgetting? Anything? I'd like to give a Merry Christmas to Kiefer Smoker, man. You're the best, dude. Uh, Angel Doobie. Merry Christmas. Thank you for all the comments and views. Yes. Uh, everybody else that we gave shout outs to, it's all peace and love. We hope your families are all healthy throughout the holidays. And, uh, you know, continue to check us out in the new year. We might have uh, maybe one video before the new year. Maybe not. If we don't, don't hate us. It's all special. You know, if you sign up the notification, gang, you'll know when That's we right. put up videos. Hit that little notification. Because we don't get any bell. love. We're not monetized. We do this for you That's and it. you alone. Out of our own pockets because we love it. And for uh, us, it's fun. It's a hobby, you know? It's a hobby. That's it. Anything else, cameraman, you want to add That's with your it. pimp hat? With your Puerto Rican pimp Christmas hat? No. <laughs> I don't know how much your L's would eat, charge by the hour. Is that how that works? Yeah. <laughs> you get a night rate, a full night rate? A full something? night rate, man. A full night rate. I wish I was an elf. Why is that? I'm kind of a dwarf. Well, you're know. not very I'm tall. Five, you're not seven. diminutive. Five, you know, you've got regular ears, regular toes. But they're, uh... They could be uh, pretty fun. Elves? Yeah. Oh, you don't like little people but, thingies. But if that's stuff. not an elf. An elf is tiny, right? Like. I don't think there's a real thing as an elf. Really? I, I don't know. Is that a real thing, an elf? I saw an elf pass, like, well, we'll talk about the elf. Don't day. elves have ears, pointy ears? Yeah, they do. And I swear to God, I saw something don't like that upstate by toes? my camper. I saw, I, and I saw it running, and it looked like something out of Shut a Shut up, man.
I shit you not. Come <laughs> I shit on, you. dude. Like a good, like a chupacabra. Listen, something like that. But I'm gonna start filming so come on, so man. that I can catch some shit like that. Okay? How big was it? Two feet? Like it was about the size of this right here. About the size of this microphone right here. Can I ask and you a and it was like its legs were moving really fast, so it looked like something out of a cartoon or something. Uh, was that when we were drinking tequila that time? We might have been. <laughs> was that the time that you said that you ate some mushrooms that somebody maybe had? No. Maybe. Gosh, I don't Come know. Come on, man. You can't really think that there's L's and gnomes. There's got to be, man. I mean, if they're there when you have mushrooms, then. Wouldn't they be in the underworld, though? If oh, they're there, shit. no, if they're there when you eat mushrooms, that means that they exist, but in a different dimension that you can't perceive on Christmas. Mm. On Christmas. I don't want to talk about this on Christmas. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share. We love you guys so much. Oh, and just so that you know, I've been reading a lot in the news. Uh, there's a lot of debates whether Santa Claus is black or white. And I would just like to say to everyone out there, Santa Claus is your parents. Whatever color your parents are, that's what color Santa Claus is. Let's not make a big deal out of this one way or the other, people. It's about making kids happy on the holidays. Okay? Santa Claus is whatever color your parents are, that's what color Santa Claus is. Okay? And if there's two Mrs. Claus or two Mr. Claus, that's your little Santa Claus situation. Okay? Mm. That's in your family. Ooh. Let's not go crazy now, all right? Let's just keep it a buck. I'm just saying, I don't want, you know, I see, I watch the news a little bit. I see what people are talking about. Little there's Asian no reason. Santa Claus. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. Who's to say that Santa Claus is or isn't anything? Because he's not real. He's whoever you make him. Santa Claus isn't a real person. <laughs> okay? Are you going to get mad at somebody that made him up differently, a, made up, a different made-up person than your made-up person? Stop it now. This is getting ridiculous. Right? And with that, happy holidays from Headroom. Peace out.